Welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the new interrogator chaplain from Dark Vengeance. So this is the special sprue that you get in the limited edition. As you can see, it's just a one-off sprue. Um, you have a couple parts. You have the hand, arm, front of the torso, cape, and a bit of the back of the torso, head, and base. You'll also notice that uh, it's not snap fit, and that'll be more obvious here. So this piece here is going to mesh in with that and there's a couple other spots um, that there is going to go on here this hand sticks on the bottom of that arm head obviously goes in there and it all goes on the base so it all fits together in only one way um, but it's not snap fit uh, the other thing to note is this sprue is the same size as the fantasy character sprues that they've been putting out for about a year now I think it's a year maybe it's two years forget uh, time flies so that's actually, I think that's amazing. Those are wicked sprues. Uh, amazing detail because it's plastic and none of this fine cast bubble junk. So, um, yeah, this is really exciting for 40K. So, you check out the detail here on the scenic base. So, the left foot's going to go there, the right foot kind of fits in there. Uh, here's our plasma pistol. Some nice, so it's kind of pointing down, so that's why these are hanging these skulls because it's Games Workshop and it's the Grim Dark Future. So, uh, yeah, lots of skulls on this. A um, little sight on there. Here's his uh, Crozius Acanum, um, which is a concussive weapon. So that's kind of a neat, uh, I don't know if, are all Crozius like that? Anyways, power weapon, melee, um, concussive. So initiative one for any opponent that takes a wound um, in the subsequent combat. Uh, so there's the front, all the nice detail there. You see some of the... Uh, uh, skulls there, the sensor um, sort of uh, thing, some of these knives with the Dark Angels iconography. And there's the back of the cape, so we have the Dark Angel symbol already uh, built into that and some nice trim on the bottom there. And uh, that's going to be our smoke and sensor, uh, sort of uh, incense coming off there, so it's pretty neat. Um, looking at the pictures, the way they've done that, really, really nice uh, kind of a detail. And as soon as I saw this, I knew this was a plastic model because I've never seen anything with metal with that kind of a smoke. Okay, so looking at uh, the bottom there, so we have some uh, detail along there. And uh, there's the other side of the hand, Dark Angel symbol, sorry, it's blurry. And there's his head. Again, chaplain, so it's a skull head and a nice little symbol there. Okay, so now we clip all the bits off, and uh, there's my pile of bits. I have to clean some of the uh, sprue lines, and there are sprue lines on this, at least there were on mine. So along the edge of the plasma gun, along the edge of the crozes arcanum, along the side of the head, um, and then along, let's see, along this edge, it wasn't too bad. The bottom was a bit worse, a little bit along there, and then all along this detail, a little bit of sprue lines. Nothing too crazy, but... Uh, just not perfect. Okay, so we're getting ready to glue together, so I'm going to put glue all along this surface and squish it together. Here you can see a bit of the sprue line there. So it fits nicely. I use um, Tamiya Extra Thin Glue, which is similar to the GW Thin Glue, although I like the applicator better. Um, a little bit of a gap here that probably should be filled before painting. Otherwise, that's probably the only gap that I noticed on the model after assembling it. Uh, looking at the side there, I think I missed a bit of the sprue line, but I can probably disguise that with paint. So I paint, I glued in the uh, plasma pistol arm there. There's a little bit of leeway which way you can twist it, but basically it's going to look like that. And then I glue on this one. It fits really snugly. You just got to make sure that you get this all to mesh up right in there. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. So on the back side there, it all fits in just perfect. And glue in the head, and that's it. Yeah, well, and glue them to the base, obviously. So that's uh, that's all there is to this guy. Pretty straightforward assembly. Um, and there's just a bit of a size comparison. Uh, there's a better one. So yeah, obviously compared to a Terminator, a little bit smaller, but um, gonna look really nice on the tabletop. And you can check out the video that I did for that painting um, on my YouTube channel or my blog. Okay, so let's walk around here, all the assembled guys, so just uh, spin them around. So yeah, lots and lots of detail, almost every surface. I think the only thing that doesn't have tons of detail is the cloak, and uh, it kind of should be plain. Obviously, you could paint some patterns on there if you wanted. 
But um, yeah, really impressive. Goes together like a charm, um, but you do have to glue it. So I'll be doing more videos for Dark Vengeance. I hope you uh, like this. Make sure you share it. Check out my blog. Um, if you have any questions, I usually respond to comments on my blog and on YouTube. Uh, the blog will probably be the preferable way. Um, it's just a bit easier for me to handle that. But uh, by all means, leave a comment below. See you next time.